Well, thank you very much and welcome back. After checking the PBHB laptop, take note of the fact that on the back of the laptop you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine screws. Among the nine screws, one stands out, distinguish the one that has the white paper with S on it. That's the right protection screws. Uh, in most cases, where the institution give it, some institutions, if the laptop does not turn on, you take it back to the institution and they could change it. But if you tamper with the right protection screw, you might lost all assurances or guarantees given to you. So you must be sure of what you're doing. Even though uh, uh, there is some possibility of opening the laptop without tampering with the right protection screw, but uh, at the iInformatic, we are very ethical people. We have two branches located, one located at ENS Street, but precisely at Katika Junction, and the other is located at Tambesi Junction at Maitu Nkwen, Bamenda. So, uh, uh, we, we want to be sincere and ethical such that if you remove the right protection screw, you should know the consequences of removing it. So I'm gonna unscrew the, the different screws in the back of the laptop. The first one, the second one. Now, while I'm unscrewing the screws, uh, uh, I'd like to let you know something about the, the battery. The, the baby HEV laptop was designed in such a way that when you power on the laptop, the power button originally receives energy only from the the battery circuit. For some reason, it was likely designed like that to, to prevent uh, uh, short circuiting from high voltage or voltage fluctuations coming from the direct current of the AC because the AC voltage, which comes from the charger, is uh, 5 volt. And uh, so that is one of the reasons why, when the laptop is powered on, it is unable to receive energy when the battery is completely low. So if we can flush in a little bit amount of energy into the system and force the system to come on, then the, 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 the ICs will be able to control the circulation of current and current can now reach the battery for the battery to charge. It, mean, it means that when the battery has a zero charge, it cannot initiate charging. After taking off all the screws, there is a sort of uh, Konix technology that still protects the laptop, its robust nature. So we're going to use the screw carefully on the back line here. We can plug the screw, a flat screwdriver, carefully to open it. That. And uh, sometimes you stand the chance of maybe breaking the, 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 the case if you are not careful. So, yeah. We have that. Okay, now here is our laptop. As you can see, this is the heat sink covering the main board, and this is the battery. And so the battery is being protected by three screws, which I'm going to take off the first one, the second one, and the third screw. And then you carefully uh, remove the tip. There is a tip here. It's a tip here holding the battery and the board together. And that tip is also protecting a nap. The nap that connects the one of the USB ports and the earphone jack. So you do that with care. When you lift up the battery, you can just pull it slightly. It comes on. Now to verify if the problem is typically the, the battery, you just get a battery that's working. It's a battery from my own uh, 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 laptop. So I'm just going to plug the battery. Once you plug the battery, 
first thing you notice that comes on is the blue light the blue light is gonna stand for a while you don't power it immediately just because you've seen the blue light you wait until the blue light goes off when the blue light goes off there is a light red light on the charger there is a red light here that starts to blink the red light there i think uh, you can see the red light uh, let me see where is it yes it's too much light let me put in some darkness for you to see the red light that's blinking behind okay yeah you can see it now when you power on the laptop the red light is gonna go off you have the blue light that is common you have PVHP laptop now you can breathe a sign of relief knowing that your PVHEV is fine and the only problem is the battery now to solve the problem of the battery all we need to do is spark the battery to spark the battery it means you need to introduce energy into it by force so there are three major ways to spark the battery we can use this battery that is already working the second way we can use a universal charger and lastly we can connect it directly uh, on the charger through adaptation as is a new PB you can see all that so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the battery now this is the good battery I will keep it there it's a good battery this is a battery that doesn't power on the PV so what I'm going to do I'm going to put the charger when you plug the charger you're going to have the blue light shining you can see it there as the blue light is shining or uh, you still try to put it on in the first generations of PVHV laptop without the charger you power it it powers on but the second generations the power button receive energy typically from the battery and and the battery can only charge when there's a little bit of charge inside so what we're going to do is we're going to use the good battery we use the good battery to spark up the PB and activate all the ICs for current to go through so that it can reach the battery so this is it after putting in you're going to wait a little bit until the red light start blinking again the red light here you can see it blinking yes okay now we're going to turn it on okay, turn it on now when it turns on you can see you carefully turn the back of the PBHV laptop and uh, you can lay it low like that. Uh, let me bring it closer. And uh, you remove the battery that's not working. And you get, remove the battery that's working and the PV will still be on. PV will still be on because the charger is still connected. So now you put back the original battery. When you put it now you confidently sure 95 percent of the time i think you don't have any worry again you don't have any worry about the pv hev not coming on so we're going to put it and uh, uh it's not good to have 100 percent confidence so i'm just going to put one of the screws to hold the battery so that it doesn't fall off i put one of the screws and hold the battery I'm gonna turn the PV and I'll continue the process to initialize the PV right up to the desktop. I just click this one is in French, so I'll click next, which is Suvan. Uh accept which is accepted, and uh, it's asking if I want to connect to the Wi-Fi network, which I will ignore. Why doing this? The the, the unspark battery will gradually be receiving charge. It's gonna take a few minutes and these are bonus steps you can be doing this to to pass the time for, for energy to reach inside